Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with data, how to parse a CSV file with UTF-8 encoding. Our viewer is using Spark 2.1 and has run into some issues with Unicode characters in their input CSV file. Let's take a closer look at the problem and find out how to ensure the output matches the input. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To parse a CSV file with UTF-8 encoding in Spark, we need to ensure that the input file is correctly read with the specified encoding. Let's start by reviewing the code you provided. Make sure that the input CSV file is indeed saved with UTF-8 encoding. You can check this by opening the file in a text editor that displays encoding options. In your Spark code, you are already specifying the encoding as UTF-8. However, if the output still shows incorrect characters, it might be due to how the output is being viewed. If the issue persists, consider using the option to explicitly set the character set when writing the output. This can help ensure that the output retains the correct encoding. Finally, after making these adjustments, run your Spark job again and check the output. This should help you achieve the desired output that matches your input. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue might be that your input file isn't actually in UTF-8, leading to incorrect characters. To troubleshoot, try creating a simple Java application without Spark. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To parse a CSV file with UTF-8 encoding, one user found success by using the option for ISO 88591 encoding. This method ensured that accents like acute, caret, and cedilla were displayed correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To parse a CSV file with UTF-8 encoding, you can use Spark's read method. Make sure to specify the separator, header option, and encoding. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.